Sleep schedule still destroyed. Dude, I think this is gonna be my new main skin. Like, I know it's not the stealthiest skin in the world, but it's also not the most standout skin. I, I don't see a lot of people using it either. Park is probably one of my, if not my favorite operator in the game, and I just like this. Sometimes she gives me like shades of Rambo, and then other times I'm thinking like Chucky doll. So I, I, I don't know, it's, I mean, I just like it. You know, I've played a decent amount of Warzone today, and honestly, it hasn't been that bad of a day. World's fastest gulag. Right. So what I usually like trying to do is when I die here, I try to get the kill in the gulag. And then as I go to deploy back into the game, I try to find another person that's coming in from the gulag and shoot him out of the sky, then hit the ground. So I can go two for two. Yeah, well, <clears throat> definitely didn't go two for two there. We're uh, with the Muffin Man, he's level 27. And the way he killed me too, I mean, he was just sitting there, just tucked away up into that cozy little court. Oh man, here it comes. Oh, there's somebody up there. Oh, that's just, all right, never mind. That's not happening. Old Snake is standing on to, oh, there's somebody else landing in. Let's see how that one goes. Can I spectate him, please? Oh, he's jumping off. Doesn't want any of that. He has 10 K. Is he gonna buy his loadout already? That's just super unlucky. He just died with it. Oh. And he just throws down his, he gets a free, he just shoot. oh. That's so disrespectful. No, not a game. Baffled right now. So we got the uh, M4 with the car 98. Uh, ooh, just, I mean, people are fighting back up top again? What is, we got recon, he's buying a UAV on. now. Somebody right behind him somehow? Oh, he's just gonna wait for him to walk into him. Oh, this is patience. Oh, when he least expects it. I mean, that's, he somehow third party a guy in a 1v1. <laughs> that's so f***ed up, man. I mean, he was hitting them at first. He's got the variable zoom on it, man. I, uh. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I've hit some nice shots with the, the, the second zoom. It is a little nice when they're really far away or just like that extra distance away. Especially when you have no idea what they're aiming back at you with. Oh. oh. He has to have a ground loot thing. He, you cannot let him beat you. You have the same zoom as it. Oh! Somebody's shooting. I don't know if he's fighting somebody, trying to bait somebody, or that's just a decoy. No, it's just a little bit of shooting. Oh. <laughs> oh! Next time you see him, you gotta flick him. Wait, he jumped off? He... Okay. Well, this is just gonna be weird now. Is he still gonna snipe him? No way he'll be that disrespectful. He probably has a shotgun. I feel like that. I feel like he's got, like, a sniper-shotgun combo, and he just wants to bait him into it. There's no reason why he wouldn't want him to, like, see such an obvious move. There's also a reason why he's not immediately running out of that building. This is one of the most patient solos I have ever watched. Oh, there he is. Or is that a different? They're moving now. He's just gonna go back and buy a UAV. He doesn't even want to sit there and guess. I need recon on my position. That dude ran all the way over to that train. Is that a trailer? Going right after him. I mean, you better hope he doesn't have one of those uh, super high TTK SMGs. Looks like he does, but it doesn't seem to matter. Ends up, ooh, ends up getting a headshot. Takes out a dookie. Slide canceling into shit. He's just, he's just really, really patient. He's got some movement down. He, he's got knowledge. He's just really slow with it. It's not like he's just sitting there camping necessarily. He just, he just patiently waits. I think just due to the huge amount of players that have just come and gone onto this game in comparison to any of the previous years in Call of Duty ever. Ooh, gets a beam and ends up shooting him. Zaddy takes out his shins. Jeep. Uh, riding over. There's also somebody on the ridge up there. He wants to be careful of just standing there. The guy on the ridge is still... You can see him. Oh, oh, God! Oh, he's just... Oh! oh I, I would have been shot right there. There's no way. I'm a little paranoid when I play, for sure. It's like Sixth Sense, but, you know, real life, not the perk. Just, like, everything just feels like, okay, I feel like he's there. He can kind of hit me, but how well can he hit me? What's the percentage? I try to think of the angle that they have a lot of the time, and I just end up, like, overthinking myself. I just overplay. I mean, he's not necessarily camping. I, I, he is. He's camping the loadout. Again, patience. He knows somebody is going to come this way. This is his loadout. He knows there's a... Yeah, he, I mean... The patience. He does have to move by the time this gas comes over here, but I, I honestly think he will actually wait this out to see if this guy will show up here by the time the gas shows up. Wait. Oh, he hears somebody. The guy might actually be the dude that's from the ridge. He's going right to the loadout. Oh, he pops the ninja. There it is. He sees him. Oh, breaks his armor. Throws a stun grenade. Oh, my God. 
they're flashing. He can't even see the poor guy. Durango goes down. And then he goes to pick it up. Better hope somebody else wasn't watching that shit. He picks up basically the same exact class, except this time he goes goes. So the first one, he I mean, he went overkill. Again, this guy is just not the biggest camper. He's not necessarily the worst player. We'll call him Cerebral. I say literally waiting is not Cerebral at all. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna praise this guy. There's a method to the madness. Some people just literally get on this game and, and they haven't won a game in, in months. They haven't won a game in, you know, seasons. You know what I mean? They don't play that much, but when they do, they try to win the game, even if it is with the low kills, whatever. They just want to win a game. But then you come across players that, yeah, all they want to do is win, but it's almost like they never get more efficient at it. Like they just keep rolling the dice and just keep trying to play the same way repeatedly. Like it feels like this guy used to be that kind of player. And now he's evolved. He knows how to move forward and patiently wait. He's gonna sneak up and third party these guys. One of the dudes got killed and his car fell down there. So anyone that's still over at hospital has to come out in this area. And it's pretty terrible to rotate out of this. So there's just all these rocks over here. He's seeing bullets over there. He knows there's at least one or two people still over there. He's again, here it is. The patient. No Nino. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Movement. Oh, honestly, that's one thing I need to do. Oh, he sees him spotting him. The variable zoom. Players jumping around and shit. Got hit one time. Gonna do the little double zoom here. Gonna check it out. Getting stuck on the tree here. You don't want to get out rotated. Player ends up actually getting in the vehicle. He's gonna light it up. He's got 60 rounds in his M4, but he's shot 20 of them into a tree trunk. Oh, takes a shot. Hits him. Nice. It's not a headshot, but hey, I respect the drag right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's where the dude died. I was gonna say, that dude seems like he went down there pretty quickly. There might be some shit. AX-50 and an AS Val. Did you pair the AS Val with that poor, poor sniper rifle, the AX-50? You know, they said that they were actually gonna adjust the Cold War snipers coming up with this mid-season update that's supposed to be coming out, like, tomorrow or something like that well one of the days soon like like rambo and other shit like that i don't know how much content's actually gonna be in this update or whatever besides just these skins or whatever i mean maybe we get like the baseball bat or whatever but oh great more melee i actually have multiple weapons on cold war that i don't have dark matter ultra on and they're all melee weapons pretty sure it's a ballistic knife the e-tool be the machete I, I i don't even know i mean he's got movement down he's, he's got rotation down he's got surveying the area i, I would say this guy plays like a sentinel see this is the type of shit i can't do right here i would feel like somebody would just see me randomly and just pop my shit doesn't matter something sticks out my massive ass you know the meta is in a good spot i really wish that they would fix the lw3 or really all of the cold war uh sniper flinch if they fix that the lw3 will actually be really nice because the lw3 i think it's bullet velocity is higher than the hdrs now i mean that thing is gonna be uh, yeah i'm happy they would do the l96 justice patiently waiting over here, I mean, this is just beautiful scenery here. Taking in all of the the, the, the pollen and, and, and insects, smell of war and death. He immediately wants to go and challenge a player that comes by, though. Oh, and he jumps out immediately and starts shooting. So he's going to challenge him head on. Beams the shit out of him. Respect. Seven kills. Top 20. He hopped into Bertha, and he kind of paused for a moment. I'm assuming this thing is very low. Gonna drive right to another vehicle. There's no way he's not. Yeah, he's gonna drive to another fight and hopefully get one of these. There's a player right there where that rover is, right in that building, and also two other players fighting in the building. You're probably only gonna realistically be able to kill one of them unless you can pick this other guy off and he doesn't third party the other two. This guy right in the middle in that house right there has a choice. He either goes and third parties the other dudes over in IHOP or oh, somebody's getting a loadout. So either that's settled over there already, or he's rotating on their settled fight. Oh. Takes a shot at the dead body just to check to see if it's alive. Now, I, I think, I mean, as a patient player, he either is going to sit here and wait to see the rotation, or he's going to maybe wait and see if they go for the vehicle. Otherwise, he will take the vehicle. What is he trying to convey to us? Is he saying he's he's shitting on them? Is he saying he has to go to the bathroom? Hops right into the Bertha. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the play right there. I mean, this is also a very unhealthy Bertha. And there's also another fight over there. See, now here's the thing. This is kind of risky. If he goes over there and this thing gets blown up immediately, yeah, I don't know. He's gonna have to go and look for another vehicle, except there's a player right in front of him. Probably has explosives. Gonna strand him out here. No. He's gonna throw the uh, flash grenade. I don't know if that actually stunned him or not. It's a 
thumb grenade back on him. I am drugs. Just takes him out. Didn't take it slow enough. The guy's squealing at him. He's just squealing at him. I am drugs. Just literally driving around like he's on drugs. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ends up popping right out. Wants to get into this building and get up top, I guess. He doesn't have a loadout at all. Oh, yeah. It looks like he's ready to be patient. Oh, somebody's in here, though. He hears him. He's gonna take it. I think he's behind him. Dude, he's behind you! Drugs, he's behind you! You're on drugs! He made it up here before him. He's gonna claymore it. What a psychopath! Wait. Patience. Oh, he's looking. Oh, he drops down! No more patience! Champagne Poppy goes down. Drake. Uh, oh, man. Watch. Gonna put a claymore down. Oh, my God. He's so ready to be patient. Yeah, I was saying with Cold War, uh, apparently there's gonna be some adjustments coming to the sniper rifles. I, I, I think maybe Vonderhaar seen one too many fucking six on headshots now. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. Wow. I mean, he didn't even have a chance. XO with 10 kills. Oh, man. This guy seems high level. He's got the movement down. He wants to move forward. Aggressive. Got the AMAX. MAC-10 AMAX. Guy seems to be pushing him. He also seems to know what he's doing. Trying to heartbeat him. He's to his left. Comes through the... I mean, it's late game now. I'm expecting people to play patient. But, I mean, this is one of the most calm... Patient games of solos I've ever spectated. I spectate a lot in private. Technically, this is private, and the other times I just I never hit record. Or if I do, I try to like clip it back, and I can only get three minutes of it or whatever, and the whole context is lost. I'm finally getting a haircut too, so. Oh, I mean, he's very patient here. He's gonna have to uh, gas walk here, scanning every corner, checking every corner every single time he moves. He is safe right here in this corner, so he's just gonna probably just sit here and listen. Patiently. The sound of flies landing on trash. The sound of a heartbeat sensor. Pinging nothing. I feel like if I truly fall in love with Warzone the way I have with multiplayer over my entire life, I hope that all these sound effects, when I hear them later in my life, they're just, all of the feelings are just gonna come rushing back to me. I, I just, I wanna feel it. Oh, ends up rotating out, ends up getting caught rotating by another player just sitting there just in a completely different position, just waiting anyway. More patience. Astromantic. Two players left. Who knows how much he has? He has eight kills. Got the mask. He's an attack mask. I would call this attack mask play, but it's not really looking like it's working out. The attack mask is gonna break. He's in a terrible position. It's also gonna rotate away. He's gonna go down here. Ends up getting stunned as well. Rowdy ends up destroying him. And I mean, he just patiently sat behind his, his Bertha. I wanna know how nine other people died faster than me. How? 